The electric vehicle battery supplier of Ford in the United States, they have a big partnership with SK On, South Korean battery manufacturer. They're also partnered with Volkswagen. Now they say they have an incredible solid state battery breakthrough. Not sure if that's true, but here are the details and here's what you need to know. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. SK On, the EV battery supplier of Ford and Volkswagen, announced a solid state battery breakthrough. They're saying they will actually be mass producing these batteries in less than five years. Most major battery automakers are working on solid state batteries. The biggest battery company in the world, CATL, famously is not. But they have revealed they have a their own version of it. It's not a solid state battery. It's like a different type of battery that has just as high, if not higher, energy density than other solid state battery companies have for solid state. And that does mean solid state batteries will have some tough competition. Anyhow, the company most famous for their claims about solid state batteries is actually Toyota, but they're the only company who won't actually reveal any details behind their solid state battery technology, if it exists at all, that is. However, SK On say they have a stable solid electrolyte that allows 70% increase in lithium ion conductivity. This is key to making a solid state battery actually work. SK On uses a proprietary oxide formula for its electrolyte. It's developed in partnership with Dan Cook University's Department of Material Science and Engineering in the United States. Now, increasing lithium ion conductivity usually comes with drawbacks. What are those? These are increased air reactivity and lithium dendrite formation that lead to faster electrode deterioration. So what does that mean? Well, that means basically the batteries don't last long enough. You pay all this money for this great solid state battery. It charges really fast, super high energy density. And then all of a sudden you realize that in a few years time, it's not working anymore. That's the big problem here with solid state batteries. In fact, that's the problem for all solid state battery manufacturers, getting the batteries to last as long as they would need to if they were used in an electric car. Now the team has found that using lithium, lanthanum, zirconium, oxygen, or LLZO exhibits remarkable stability. Now what I find remarkable about this information is they've just disclosed what they're doing. This is what all legitimate companies do. When they're talking about batteries, they disclose like CATL, BYD talking about exactly how they make the blade battery. CATL disclose exactly what goes into their new lithium ion phosphate batteries or their new M3P batteries. There's many manufacturers in the world that make batteries, including in the United States, who will tell you where they're at, how many layers they're at, what chemistries they're using. Like I said, Toyota and Nissan, very quiet, won't say a word on anything they're doing ever. We're talking now, they've been saying they have magical solid state batteries now for more than 10 years. So who do you believe more? SK on or do you believe the companies or that are that are basically keeping everything quiet? The LLZO formulation is a prime candidate for pilot production and SK on is building a production battery line. Now it's a test line, so it's not a full production line yet. Their goal is to begin making their solid state batteries in 2026 using this chemistry. Their mass production is then scheduled for 2028. Now here's what the company had to say. This solid state electrolyte, which has both ionic conductivity and atmospheric stability, will have a substantial ripple effect as an innovative technology for creating high quality solid state batteries. Based on our superb future technological competitiveness, SK On will continue to forge growth opportunities. There are lots of efforts made by mass production solid state battery solutions. Basically, this is the idea of a semi solid state battery. Turns out they aren't as good as what we all thought they would be. Neo have them in their, one of their cars now, but the range is actually less than what you get in other EVs using things like CATL's M3P battery, which appears to give even better range, or their cheer in battery, which has even better range again. Anyhow, in Europe, Prologium are making a $6 billion solid state battery plant. And part of the reason for that is France was willing to give them the money they need to build this factory, whereas they weren't able to get the funding in the United States. Now, who will this benefit? Well, like I said, Ford and Volkswagen have 
partnerships with SK on. So they could be some of the first automakers in the world to use these batteries. SK on already brought the biggest single investment in the US in batteries for EVs with $11 billion in their Tennessee and Kentucky battery factories, which are joint venture partnerships with Ford. Now, could this mean that Ford will be the first company in the world to use these batteries considering Ford are the biggest partner worldwide with SK on? Well, that's very possible. Now, either way, I think SK on is a legitimate battery company. They make real batteries. They sell them to other companies, something that Toyota doesn't do. Nissan doesn't do that either. And I really like the fact that they're disclosing what they do, how they do it, what the problems are, and how they're actually overcoming them. This to me implies honesty and transparency. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.